All right, everyone, we are out for another adventure today. I want to thank all you guys for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. You guys can do me a huge favor, smash the thumbs up button. You guys are always hearing me say smash the thumbs up, but it really, really does help us on YouTube, guys, just helping to grow our channel. So if you guys could do one thing for us, always smash the thumbs up. And Jordan's holding up the little fish in the background. We already got some fish in the boat. It's going to be an absolute amazing day. And then at the end of this episode, guys, we're going to show you some little tricks on how we, or not me, because I don't do it, but how Jordan cans his fish and how he pretty much lives on fish almost 365 days a year because it's easy to just can them and they're tasty. It is, I used to always smoke a ton of fish and freeze it, but I never seem to eat frozen fish. And that's because we're lucky and get to catch fish, you know, throughout the year and be able to eat fresh ones. But I wasn't eating my smoke fish enough and I decided to try some canned fish and it changed my life. So we're gonna show you guys a couple different recipes and how you can enjoy your catch a little bit better. Absolutely. Thanks again for tuning in, everyone. We got Josh with us today. Up, we got guys? new cameraman Alex back there. You guys are going to get to continue to know throughout the future. And we're on a river. It's sunny, <laughs> and we can't ask for a better day. So let's go catch some more fish, ladies and gentlemen. Fish. Look at this guys, just ate, ate the old spoon here. Look at that fish. Beautiful, pretty cut through, just whack old of the spoon. Crushed it back in that little back. Look at the spots on his fins and stuff right there. Super unique spotting. All right, go make some babies dude. Side. Yep, left side, sun streak. Left side, sun got him, everyone. Yep, yep. We're just gonna do a quick release on this fish, you guys. Put him to the boat fast, let him get back out there. This is a good sign. First hole of the day, fish on. Just a little pack. Uh, little buff. Little buff, hey. But it'll cook perfectly. First fish of the day, the fog's just starting to kind of, all the mist is coming off the water. I like it. The old sloppy Smith worm gets it done. <laughs> Jordan had just told me, Addicts, he's like, maybe run one down that left side where that sun's hitting the water. And it's funny because I shot, I was dragging in there before and I kind of shallowed up a little bit and it went down and I thought, oh man, I'm snagged up. So I didn't even really set the hook. I just kind of reeled on it and there he was. <laughs> So you can see this square in the gill, and this is actually a sign that these, this fish has been recycled. So it's made it back to the hatchery, and in the spirit of sport fishing and making sure that the guys who buy licenses and come out here and try to catch fish get another chance at them, they bring them back down river and put them back in again. And so that's the result of a great hatchery program and fish returning back and forth and the angler getting a chance to actually take them home and eat them. It's too shallow, but I'm gonna rip it through there anyway. Six inches. It's because you never know. Why not, dude? There could be one sitting in this riffle. Right in there, dude. Ooh, ooh, come on. <laughs> Give me one. Got him. Got him. Fish on. That was sick. <laughs> Chromezilla. Oh, he's migrating. He's a migrant. What's coming to the boat? This one's trying to attack. Dude, I literally, Jordan, did I call that one? Yep. This is on that jig, Jordan. You said you never put me Look at that. On the subject of hatchery fish, everybody, that first one had already been to the hatchery, and this one obviously hasn't. Look at this thing. Don't lose it. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Look at that weird little leech on his tail there. I think these things come from the fresh water once they enter the river. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Oh yeah, dude, Cromer. I'm thinking, Jordan, that we let this one go, huh? I think so. Or what? hopefully maybe just an angler up river can get her. Yeah. That is the cool part about fish that you let go. Odds are in a small river, especially, they're gonna get caught again, so. 
So this is on a jig that Marlin has been telling me to use, and I have refrained from. It's all orange, so it's got like a orange. hot orange head with a nice orange tail. Stands out Single like a sore B. thumb in that water today. It does. Cromer. You see that bobber down there anywhere? Got him. Fish on. Got him. Fish on. On the cuss. I'm glad you guys kept fishing. That's why I see so many of them when I row out of here. Dude, I'm just getting lucky. We all fish that. Like, right? Like, we were. Go ahead. I just deepened out, too, Josh. Oh, my drag is way too tight. I think it's good, too. Must be decent, at least. He's coming at it. It's gotta be decent. He's fighting really good. This thing is dogging me, dude. We can't even have him seen it. I still have not been able to get him up to even see him. He, he does not want to come up at all. Oh yeah, it's really nice. It's super nice. Not huge, but it's nice. It's nice. Oh, super nice fish. No. Wild again? Nope, another hatchery. The cans are filling up, everybody. Which one, we call this one jalapeno? You call this one garlic or honey mustard? I don't know, dude, but how did that <laughs> fish mess me up so bad? Now, look, I'm gonna say something right here. Every fish we've caught so far, look at his tail. Sea lion, right? Sea lion. Yep. The smelter starting in this part of the, of the country when we have these little bait fish that come in and spawn in our rivers, little really wants this fish. And the sea lions all follow them and there will be thousands of them. They'll migrate from all over the country and every single fish we catch now, I bet throughout the rest of the day has some sort of sea lion mark on it where that fish was grabbed and almost killed by a, a yep. sea lion. So that one has That's a, a good one, particular. dude. Let's get him Look at how there. chunky it is. Attic's right there. Oh, is that on the jig again? That jig has been just getting it today. See, it's got a nice bright orange head, orange tail, sink it series, must add, addicted, game time. Snack break. I got my fruit and yogurt parfait. Josh is eating some boiled eggs. Little just had himself some pep. Jordan's about to eat some salad. He's over here twiddle fingering his phone away. Who's this guy right here? Josh Handy. He's with us again. Long lost, our long lost brother, Mr. Handy. Been gone for a while. Jordan, what are those fancy new waders that you got on right there, dude? Well. Oh, and then we got some fish laying in the bottom of the boat. Attics. Gonna be showing you guys how to can these later. Show you guys all of our little canned fish secrets that Jordan has learned in the last couple months. <laughs> Pretty much an expert at this point. I've done it like four times. Yeah. Pretty much an expert. <laughs> Holy Canoaks. Holy Canoaks. <clears throat> Just found a diamond. There's a diamond over here. Diamond? Diamond, diamonds are forever, dude. There is a treasure on the beach. Wow. Look at it. Just look at it. It's a diamond, everyone. Super cool. Spotted it from the boat. Ching. Sparkle, sparkle. Gonna nonchalantly throw a cast out and just get lucky again. Oh my god! And I was under for so long, dude, and my prawn is gone. That was a fish for sure. I never got a hook set on it. Dude, those were fish. Those were 100% fish. I didn't even like pretend to bobble in there. Not even pretended. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh yeah, Cromer. Chrome steel head. Chrome, chrome, chrome steel head. Chrome steel head. I think it's gone. Oh, double. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Come on. Are we okay up there, Marlon? Can I make one more little drift? There he is. Nope, bottom. That log is still there. <laughs> That's a little tiny wild. Do you want to do something with it? Do you want a picture? Sure. It's a wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The old too. sink it series, dude. Getting it done today. Here you go. I got some really good ones. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, <laughs> Oh, little? Oh, no. <laughs> dude, he swam right on his back. I got the boyfriend. I got the boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I got the boyfriend. Oh, I'm all bent up. I'm all bent up. I'm out, dude. Ooh, 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 angry. Anger. This one's angry. Brand new one, boys. Fresh on the market. Switched to the jig. I couldn't watch my buddies catch them on the sink it anymore. And I made the change, first cast. Totally different color too. This is something I saw last year where, where uh, every single, uh, I was really hard to get sink it series jigs and especially in your favorite color. So I was using them in all the different colors that they make and caught fish on every color. So at this point I have confidence on every color of those jigs. And I put one of my favorite on, which was different from what's been working. And we got them. Dude, the cans are stacking. <laughs> The cans are stacking. Call it the cannery. Call this the cannery. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Oh, he's trying to cut my line. He's pulling out a piece, dude. He pulled out a piece. He's trying to cut me. Oh, wow. Aggressive. Just kidding. Okay, I got him. Zach. It's his sister. It's the sister of that sister. one. Sister. Woo! Sister, sister. I think Josh, we almost had a double. I get, I that's that where the bobber yeah. bobbled. That's where the bobble bobble I'm bobble, bobble happened. Fish in there too. Yeah. We finally found the wild fish. We were wondering, being this late in January, where these wild steelhead are uh, because we've been catching a lot of hatchery fish in a lot of places. So, found them. Moral of the story. We found them. Yeah, did it. Oh, what a good taste. Beauty, After the last dude. couple days that I've had addicts, been enjoying the river with my friends, but just having a rough go of it. Losing stuff, breaking stuff, not catching fish, but that's all over now because look at him. Just look at him. Oh, jiggy, liggy. That thing's all dirty too. It's been riding around on the truck for a while. Dude, the sinkets are getting three different colors now. Yep. Three different color sinkets. Well, everybody, that one felt good. I've been blessed with a great steelhead season so far, but it's been a lot of work lately. We've been just crunch timing with the movie premieres and trying to film as many videos as possible, and I needed that fish bad. Now it's a perfect day. It's time to catch a tan, maybe a buzz. Let's keep fishing. Okay, so our shot boy. Randy Johnson Jr., or Colt, as he's more commonly known as, is parked right here fishing somewhere. So we're gonna mess with his truck. And I think the best, best option that we have right now, put a fish head on his antenna. Hi, Colt. How was your day of fishing? Let's make sure it's actually his. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Colt's. <laughs> Sorry, Colt. Okay, everybody. So, we caught the fish. We killed the fish. We cleaned the fish. Now, we have to can the fish. And this is something I've actually never done myself before. I've only tried it a few times and I had help the whole time doing it. But we're down here to see our friends at Bob's Sporting Goods to get the necessary equipment that we're gonna need to can all this fish up. First things first, pressure cooker, then jars, then the fun part, doing it all. Hi there. I need to get all the stuff for canning. For canning? Canning, you have pressure cookers in the whole. Wonderful. Is this the biggest one? That is the biggest one I have right okay. now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's gonna have to do. Yeah, I don't have the really big one. Yeah. That'll give you all your tools. Twenty-four jars ought to do. 
What about the salt? Okay. Salt. Right. Now, is there anything I'm forgetting here? Um, are you going to stack in your canner? Most likely, yeah. Then you'll need a shelf to okay. stack in between it. So, we got the jars, the tools, the salt, the spacer, this bad boy. Okay, we made it home. I got my smoker set up. I got my whole garage set up to do this. I got my fish sitting here waiting for us to prep it. I got my cup of coffee, of course. Mm. And I got my tiny boy here to help. But I got my camp shirt stove over here. I'm gonna do my canning on this, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a smoke and a season on my fish over here. So let's get all this unboxed. Now with the canning, again, this is my first time doing this alone, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me, laugh at me a little bit for how many times I messed stuff up. But I do know one thing about it. It's all about the prep. Once you have everything in kind of like an assembly line sort of situation, it all goes pretty well quick. So. here together I got the canner set up figured it out finally figured out what this little weight thing is supposed to do that was a little more complicated than I thought but this thing goes here and now it's time to get our fish ready so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut each piece of fish to kind of fit exactly the right size into the jar before I put it on the smoker but, uh, the, before when I've done this I didn't do that exact thing and it made it a big pain in the butt trying to put it into the jars and cut it up after my fish was all soft and stuff from that smoker. So this this method is going to definitely help us a little more. Let's go over here and grab a can. Ooh, pretty jars. Looking good. Good looking. And I'm thinking, really, just one piece. I'm just going to cut like these little strips here, basically. Little one inch pieces, kind of like I'd put in the smoker, anyways. And I should be able to fit like three or so of these in each jar. This is going to depend on how big your fish is, of course. But these ones are honestly perfect canning size. going a real short smoke on this. I'm only going to go for about an hour, um, but I'm going to grab order from all our trips. Where's my head? Where's my head? Can't find it. I'll fill up my alder chips here. And I'm going to go a pretty heavy smoke. I'm going to kind of smoke it a little bit hotter than I normally would, uh, mainly just because I want to get that stuff with a good hard smoke flavor on it before it starts to really cook at all. So I'm going to be cooking in the pressure cooker and I don't want to do it both ways. So. Put on about a medium now we're gonna season this stuff before we put it on there and i'm just going to pretty flavorful it's like a cowboy seasoning rub i don't know it's something somebody left in my cupboard honestly but i just want to get a little bit of flavor on this because a lot of this a lot of the flavor that's going to come off of this fish is going to be from what i put in the can with it so i'm going to go very light seasoning nothing crazy this doesn't have any salt in it so my salt is going to be added when i actually Go to can the fish. There we go. A little bit of garlic into the smoker. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna let this start smoking first before I add these pieces of fish. It's gonna, again, I don't want them to get that warm. I just want a good smoke flavor. I got three different recipes here. I'm going jalapeno and everything, but one of them I'm going with Italian dressing. The other one I'm going the moi poi factor. And then one of them, I'm just going straight up jalapenos and garlic. So. Here we go. 
jars my legs, or jars rather. I'm gonna fill this full of my jars that I'm gonna use. Okay, my fish is down in the smoker. And this is all I wanted to do. You guys see how much I did. Got a little warm, just enough to soften it up. Didn't really cook it at all. But just let that, that, I can just smell that perfect little smoky flavor. Ooh, I'm actually drooling already, holy moly. Everything from here on you want to be really clean and sanitary, that way you're not messing anything up. But I'm gonna take each one of my jars here, now that I got them sterilized. And my jars are good to go. I'm actually just gonna move the whole operation right over here. And I really don't want to touch the jars at all from here on out, so I dump that water out of them. I'm gonna lay each one of them up here. And again, this is where I want to try to be pretty sanitary here. I'm gonna have each of my jars are gonna get transferred from here to here into there. I'm gonna try, again try to keep my skin on here so I'm gonna do my best to not shed the skin on any of this stuff going into the jar and you want to try to do this with as little with as little air in the bottom of this jar as possible so if I can get these things in there just right it should go nicely so I want to only fill my jars to the bottom of the lid here so I don't want to go too much on these so before I even get started I'm gonna take my little packer I'm gonna make sure I don't get any air in the bottom of that jar and if you do kind of make a smushed up mess it's okay it all eats the same at the end of the day okay i'm doing three jars of the jalapeno garlic i'm gonna do Three jars, something a little crazy. I'm going the old moi poi. Heard about this recipe and all this is just chili sauce, but I'm gonna put this chili sauce right in on top, just like that. It's probably even a little bit too much, but that should do the trick. Because what happens while this stuff cooks is all these different flavors and all this moisture and stuff goes back and forth underneath from the bottom of the jar up basically. And so being able to pack all this stuff in here, making sure there's no air, makes that seasoning kind of get spread even a little bit better through there. That might probably looks unbelievable. Holy cripes. Okay. Okay. Got each and every one of these ready to go. Now I gotta clean the top of the lids. I got my other lids blowing over here. Oh boy, look at this. We got the Moi Poys. We got the uh, Italians. We got the good old fashions. So I have to go through and clean off each one of these lids now. And I'm going to start with just a bare paper towel. And then I have to also use some vinegar, some 5% acidic vinegar to actually sterilize and seal the top of that lid, so. Now, this is a very tedious process. It definitely is a lot more fun if you have somebody to help, but I'm hanging in there. It's going well so far. So I'm pretty good about myself. I'm gonna take each of these lids, tighten them on just a uh. No more than a uh. There we have it. Ready to get our canner going. Okay. She is locked and loaded, everybody. The grueling process is over. I got my water in there about as, as high up as my bottom of my cans there. This is all my recommendation here. I'm following really too many rules. So we're gonna see how this 
how the heck this turns out. I'm a little skeptical, I'm a little scared, I'll say that much right now, that um, I've added a little bit too much fish to each one of the jars. But I was just kind of doing it to ration as many, as many uh, jars and as much fish as I had, so let's hope this turns out. Now what we need to do, we need to raise our pressure, we need to wait for some, some air to start sp spitting out of this little guy here, and then we'll add our weight to it, and this is the weight, and I was recommended to use two of the weights on there, which amounts to, I think, 12 to 15 pounds of pressure. And we want to get this thing up to 12 pounds for 100 minutes. So when we get, we're going to start our timer when it gets to 12 pounds, and then we'll just regulate it with this on back and forth to our heat to, to keep it at the right temperature basically inside to cook the stuff. And again, that's for 100 minutes. So I'll have plenty of time to clean up my mess. Maybe crack a beer. What time is it? It's already two o'clock. Guys, I'm so bad at this. But that's okay, we're getting stuff done and it's gonna be delicious, so stay tuned, here we go. Okay, starting to get a little bit of moisture coming out of that. Oh, there it is, yep, you can see it fogging up. So I'm gonna, this isn't moved yet, of course, because I haven't put my little weight on here, so I'm gonna put my weight on. I'm gonna want it right at about 12 to 13. So right in this little area right here, it's gonna stay right in between there for 100 minutes. So I'm gonna let this thing build up pressure. This little thing should pop up. Oh, yeah, it's starting, it's starting, something's happening. And this is, uh, I think, a crucial point where I'm gonna have to sit here, run the regulator, make sure I don't get too hot, and watch that little pressure gauge rise to where I know I'm gonna be at the right pressure, and then I have to dial it down and stay close to this thing for the rest of the day, for the next 100 minutes, so I'm 140, or an hour and 40 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer on my phone, and we're gonna kick back and hang out in the garage together. The pressure is starting to climb, it's moving, it's moving. <laughs> Things are happening, I'm excited. It's turning into a beautiful day today. I'm really hoping to get this done and still have a lot of time to go run out and do a little more fishing in the river. But I think the tiny boy just wants him some fish. Yes, he wants to go fishing. Okay, everybody, we're there. Keep it right there. So I'm gonna turn my gauge down quite a bit. Now that we're at 12, I'm gonna get the clock rolling. To start. 100 minutes, here we come. One eternity later. One hundred minutes later. We're done. I'm turning it off. So we're waiting for this thing to cool off. It's got to get down to zero and that little topper thing has to go down until we can take this thing out. I can smell fish yet again, but hopefully it's just the oils that came out of those cans for me doing them a little too full. I'm scared that maybe one of them broke. I don't really want to waste that fish. But it's so nice to be able to can stuff like this and have it be preserved for the entire year and take it all over with you guys see me take this stuff camping and and fishing and and hunting and whatever else so just even on hikes it's so nice i eat almost a can of this thing a day i swear um so next year i'm going to be doing a lot of canned salmon so be on the lookout for those videos coming out but i'm excited to see what's in that pot so we have to pull them out we have to put them on our little cooling rack here and we're going to set them there and each of the lids are going to have to pop so you'll hear like and they'll each kind of make a popping sound and that means that, that as they cool it's sucking those lids back down in and actually preserving that fish inside so just a few more minutes wait till this one goes down then we get to open it up and see if i ruined any of it time has come the thing is down let's look i'm really excited this has been hard to wait looks pretty good guys none of these broke they're all looking pretty good okay now, I'm gonna set you guys there. I'm gonna use my little tongs. Grab each one. I'm pretty freaking excited right now. That looks amazing. Wow. That looks really good, everybody. This is cool. These things are just full of juice. Yum. That Moy Poi turned in a really interesting color. And there is a little bit of greasiness stuff laying around there. I'm not quite sure. You can see how these things are still cooking. They say do not touch them for like 12 hours. So I'm going to set them out here. I'm going to do my best not to touch them. You know I love these things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got some messiness inside there. I don't know. really hope nothing broke. I don't think anything did, though. We're looking really good. You guys can hear each one of those things popping. It's pretty cool. Just let me know they're done. Man, this looks amazing, guys. 
There they are. Pretty little maids all in a row. What did we come out with? We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, everybody. Well, everybody, that is how it's done. I can't wait to share with you some awesome recipes from what we made today on the future episodes. If you guys want to see more fun videos just like you saw here today, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to comment, and you can be the comment of the day just like this person right here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.